Paste. Another video, another challenge. That's right, if you didn't get enough of seeing if Mythrix could beat Aurelia Knight, no spoilers, you have to watch it to see the winner, then you also might enjoy this challenge. You see, as you get older, you have less time to actually play the games, and instead, you end up trying to see if you can make the game play itself. So, being the lazy gamer that I am, I'm always trying to find new ways to beat the game while being AFK. So, I'm going to see if the engineer's Momo turrets can stand up against Mythrix himself. So, to make this sort of fair, I'm going to give myself one of every item. Huh? I thought you said this would be fair. Well, yeah, it is I think. Because I'm just going to give myself one of every white and green item. Legendaries would be too overpowered as well as Lunar and Corrupt items. So today, we're just going to run with the OGs and go back to the basics. So, take your guesses, do you think that the little baby turrets will win? Or the final boss, Mythrix? Starting off phase 1 of Mythrix, the turrets are putting in work. And I mean work. Mythrix basically got cooked, George Foreman style from the front and the back. Also, to make this challenge just a little bit more spicy, I'm gonna only spawn the turrets once. So if they die, they die, and they only get one chance. So with phase one completed and the mob spawning, I sort of cheated because I helped kill them, but with good justification. This is a Mythrix fight, right? And it would only be fair if the turrets faced off against Mythrix. But I guess the actual truth is that these turrets have such bad range against flying mobs that if they're just a little too high out of reach, They'll waddle around confused and not shoot up, which would be a problem, so I had to help them out just a tiny little bit. But anyways, on to round 2 of Mythrix. Here we can see that the turrets are holding their own against this baddie. They're doing their best job juking and jiving, dodging all the pizza slices. Impressive, I know. And just as I compliment this turret, he decides to run straight into the pizza slice and gets chopped up. A moment of silence please for our little turret Timmy. But with only one turret left, it's on to the final phase of Mythrix. With no items in the inventory, I was a little intrigued to see if the turrets would also lose their items since they had items when I spawned them and when I lost them, would they keep their items? But the game is just a little too smart and the turret also lost its items. Our little boy was doing his best at jiggle peeking, but when it came to close quarter combat, he stood no chance against Mythrix's big hits. Two to the dome, he was no more. With that, the challenge is completed, and Mythrix will be deemed the winner. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. But just for a little revenge, I had to send some reinforcements in to finish him off. Only I can be the victor. <laughs> but with that, this little video was just to see the game play against itself. I can't wait to see what future challenges have in store for us. And who knows, maybe in the future the items can get swapped, we'll see what will be a more equal battle. But I thought this one was pretty fair. Because in the end, Mythrix is the ultimate equalizer when he steals all the items. And with that, I thank you to everyone who has made it to the end of this video. Those of you in the Discord who remind me to make videos are the true MVPs. That's it for me, and I hope to see you guys in the next one.